everybody, my name is Virus Literal, and I am back with another video in my Windows Chicago series. Today we will be looking at Windows Chicago Build 73G. Now, right off the bat, it's different. I set it up using the DOS prompt instead of installing Windows 3.1, and we have some non-disclosure agreements that were added. And now the setup screen looks completely different. We have a new background in this help really we don't so so I would feel bad for the user who needed some help during this installation they didn't even implement that great good job Microsoft great a eh? anyways the backgrounds different and it doesn't call itself Chicago anymore it's starting to call itself Windows setup it still calls itself Chicago in the operating system but here in the setup it calls itself Windows anyways let's get right into this build this build was compiled on November 1993. As always, I don't have a date, a specific date when this was compiled. All I know is that this was compiled on November 1993. There are two versions of the same build. There was one build that was 73F. It was a Microsoft oriented build. It was to be kept within Microsoft. So the Microsoft testers in the company would test it while 73G was shipped out to testers. Fortunately, both of these builds are the exact same thing. The build I am using right now is 73G, because I couldn't get the other 73, which I assume was 73F. I couldn't get that build, like, up and running. But we do have 73G, and oh, so lucky that these builds are the exact same thing. Now let's call out some changes. We already explained that it now calls itself Windows Setup. There's improvements to the installer, if we guys saw. There's a new background image, obviously, and then there's non-disclosure agreements. You can run a basic or custom startup. So basic is basically... <laughs> basic, basically. Setup is basically... The basic setup is honestly just the usual startup setup. It's just the manual where you don't have to do much. While the custom startup is how you would expect this custom. You choose all the options, choose what you want to install, what you don't want to install user-friendly for one and then for administrators the other so there are some user interface changes in here too the warning dialog that would start up when windows starts is removed so you don't get that warning still construction build that this is chicago and stuff there's a new startup sound here unfortunately i didn't get it on here so filing cabinet was replaced with my computer so the name is now my computer and the icon changed here's we got our new splash screen windows chicago preliminary release november 1993 parent folder in explore remove so the parent folder was basically when you click on the c drive it would call the c drive the parent folder so it's removed tracker has been removed that little program white box on ta on the taskbar was replaced with running application so you guys will see once i get to the um once i get to the desktop you'll see what i mean that little white box little, yeah here we go it's about to start there you go see how it's not a white box anymore it's now actually what it looks like now what it basically looks like in the early builds uh, and our builds of um windows like windows vista windows 7 windows 10 Windows 8, Windows XP, 95. It basically looks like how it does now. A little, a little, a little fun fact. You can actually re-enable the white box if you really wanted to. And I don't know why you would want to re-enable the white box. I mean, yeah, I guess it's everyone's taste. There's a new shutdown screen and there's a new first boot screen, which was the Windows Chicago thing. The Windows bug reporter was upgrade. It was updated to 1.1, 1.16. And there were some other minor tweaks with it. So it's it's just an update to it. It's some minor tweaks. We can't really see what those tweaks were. It's really like just in the coding. So. And the start menu. Oh, I feel so dumb. I'm sorry, you guys. I did not get the film for this. But this, you, can, you can enable the start menu in this build. So in this build, this is the earliest build where you can get the start menu the actual start menu that it looked like in, in another build that I will be posting up soon. Wink, wink. Stay tuned. <laughs> and it is the early build. It is the earliest build to contain the new start menu. So that is something that you guys should keep an eye out. 
Yeah, you guys can move the taskbar up and down, all that jazz. And it's so cool how how this really is. It's it's really awesome. Oh, and we can change our background. There's some new backgrounds here. Now we have the Chicago. I like this back. I don't know why. I really like this background. This is a really nice background. I would want to like just get the setup files and just take just this background out and just keep it on my <laughs> Chicago and Windows 932C. We got the Windows logo of how it looked like back in the day. How it looks like in this build right now, actually. A little pixelated. I'm gonna make it. This is what it. Yeah, this is what I did the last time on the other computer, I think. Yeah, I assume so. Monitor, we can get some more colors. We could get 16.8 million colors. So that's true color. Uh, I had to restart the computer. I didn't really want to restart it because I was I was I was actually scared that this was gonna crash the the actual build, and I didn't want anything to happen. So everything is pretty much the same to build 58s, except with a couple of new tweaks and program folders. And the program folder does not crash the computer, which is something I find very interesting. And. You got just you got the same games. The main folder. Oh, I found a little bug with this one. I don't know. That cabinet right there. It's supposed to be my computer, but it's called cabinet. I guess they. I guess you can't be perfect. I guess. Our startup with Dr. Watson. It's still there. Dr. Watson is still with us. Everything closes the same way, pretty much, as the last build. This is the shutdown dialog. When you want to shut down Windows. Pretty. It's. It's. Pretty much the same as the last one. There's nothing really, nothing else I could really comment on here. This is the task manager here. It looks a, oh, it looks now it looks a little bit more different. Oh, oops, ended Dr. Watson. Sorry, Dr. Watson. Anyways, that's pretty much all I can really show you. That's really about it, you guys. This is briefcase. The briefcase files. I think that was used in Windows. Still used in Windows Vista, I believe. Recycle dot bin. Recycle still called recycle dot bin for some reason. Well, guys, that's about it for me. I've told you guys everything here. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys want more of these videos. Thank you. Thank you guys very much for the support. Virus Literable, signing off.